The protests did not take place or were poorly attended in most of the states in the south-south and southeast. In places where the protests held, residents called on the federal government to be alive to its responsibility of providing adequate security and welfare for the citizens, which are in the lowest ebb at the moment. While there were scanty protests in only rivers and Edo states in the south-south, the Southeast had no protests as some state governors celebrated the day with events. Iken Namichi brings us the report. The pulling out of the National Association of Nigerian Students is a factor suspected to have affected the outcome of the protests in this area. But these ones, who are members of the civil society organization and some concerned Nigerians in Edo State, we are joined by the deputy governor to demand for good governance. We join you to say democracy must go with freedom of speech. Yes, and at the end of the day, all of us together will have a date with history. And our folly heroes, the like of Ramson Kuti, Ghanifa and me, their deaths will not be in vain. We are trying to cry to the world that what we practice in Nigeria is far far compared to what we read and study in school. Low turnout of residents characterized the protests in Port Harcourt, capital of River State, after hours of waiting for a large crowd to converge, those present began their procession. One of the reasons why he was elected into office is because he promised Nigeria is going to provide security. He promised Nigeria is going to make sure the killing by different in the different part of this country will stop. I've gone around River State, Portacot in particular, and that place. My GPS are going around too, and I observe that there is no no distro, dis, uh, disturbance in River State. There is no uh, demonstration at all. What you can see here is a small rally. Delta State was a different story as residents went about their business freely. It is business as usual in Delta State here and in the state capital, no protest whatsoever in the state. The police made their presence felt as a warning of its readiness to resist any breakdown of law and order. Despite that, some residents still call for a better governed nation. You know, the primary aim of government is the welfare and security of its citizens. But if you take note, you'll find out that the Nigerian government, federal and state, has failed the citizens over and over again when it comes to provision of security, when it comes to giving welfare to the youth. There's nothing democratic worth celebrating today. People are dying. In short, Nigerians are being buried like animals every day. They, they, they carry dead bodies, they wrap them in mass and they throw them into pits. Today we count 20, tomorrow we count 30 and it's becoming a normal. There is a relative calm in Yenegua as there is no sign of any protest at the planned venue at Stombia Roundabout. An earlier statement from the Bayasa State Police Command said the force is not aware of any protest anywhere in the state. In the southeast, no state recorded any protest. In Enugu, members of the National Association of Nigerian Students used the day to reiterate their decision not to protest. They joined in the call for improved security, national dialogue amongst others. The security architecture around our campuses will be rigged to ensure maximum security, of security for Nigerian students studying anywhere in Nigeria. There is no sign of June 12 protests in Owerri, the Imo state capital as residents are going about their lawful businesses. They are human and vehicular movements despite the rumored stay-at-home order. Security situation in the state has greatly improved as government and security agents have continued to assure the public of being on top of the situation. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, as